Neela, you recently put out a report that really looked at how much the workplace has changed over the past year. Let's talk about the state of the worker. There were some very interesting findings about pay and performance. Right, we spent over a year documenting changes to employment and the tremendous job loss. So this survey that was conducted between October and December of last year honed in on how workers felt about it. Um, and what we saw first and foremost, and this is very understandable, is that 85% of the global workforce, that's over 32,000 people in 17 countries, felt insecure about that, their jobs. And so that translated into a lot of different behaviors, and one of them was taking on more work and additional responsibility. And people were taking on new work, but were they actually getting compensated for that? Well, there is some good news in terms of that. Yes, they were, but it's a mixed story. So about one in seven workers reported that they actually received some additional compensation, whether it was a promotion or a bonus. But uh, we also felt, saw that workers around the globe, this was a universally consistent result, were working more hours for free. So some of those additional responsibilities they were getting paid for, some they were not. And the incidence of working for free, unpaid work grew, especially here in North America. It doubled in, a, in the course of a short one-year period. So a mixed kind of result in terms of pay and performance over the last year. And so what has, has all of this done for workers' optimism and workers' feelings about their jobs? It does vary by age. Younger workers were the most affected by COVID-19. They experienced the greatest amount of job loss and pay cut. And so it's the young, that Gen Z, the newest age court to the cohort to the workforce that has seen a reduction in optimism. The survey also looked at something we've been reporting on quite a bit, and that is some of the difficulties by gender. Women in particular have really struggled in the past year. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, a lot of commentators have called this the she recession because so many women have had to leave uh, the workplace because of uh, added family responsibilities with daycare closures and school closures around the the country in the US and around the world. And you definitely see it in the data. For one, we talked about people getting paid more for additional work, but men were more likely here in the US to be paid more, about 62%. Then women, only 50% uh, reported being paid more for additional responsibilities. Women were also less likely to feel confident that they could find a job with the same degree of flexibility men were much more confident about that. So women tend to want to hold on to whatever flexibility they have um, and whatever pay they have because they see limited opportunities for change and improvement. And that's a key concern as we transition back to the workplace. Taylor, really fascinating uh, report. Thank you so much for sharing some of the high level findings with us. I appreciate it. Good to be with you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.